Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us today for another installment of our social recruiting webinars. Today's topic is recruiting on Facebook, um, understanding the demographics. All other webinars in this series are recorded and posted on our website at employers.identified.com slash events. I'm Jennifer Picard, the Product Marketing Director here at Identified. Identified Employer Solutions are Facebook recruiting solutions for the social employer. We help companies successfully recruit on Facebook through our job posting app, passive search tool, and Facebook advertising. To learn more about the benefits of working with Identified, please type us a quick message in the chat box and we'll follow up with you after the webinar. Today, we'll be covering Facebook demographics and what they mean for recruitment. The key takeaway of this webinar is to review what makes Facebook a great tool for recruitment. We'll cover some of the stats that make Facebook unique, the demographics of its users, how job seekers are using Facebook, and the tools available to help you find top talent. Let's get started by taking a look at how employers use social media for recruitment. Uh, this is a recent identified study uh, where we saw that employers are planning to utilize social networks more in 2012 than they did in 2011. So we're actually going to do a quick poll here on this webinar too to see um, how this group compares to our survey. So which social networks did you use for recruiting in 2011 and which do you plan to use this year? So go ahead and answer that poll when you get a chance. Uh, we'll keep it open for just a minute or two, and then we'll share those results with everybody so you can see um, what everybody on this call is planning to do this year compared to last year. So in our last study, we actually found that recruiters were increasing their use of Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Employer Blog, Foursquare, and YouTube. Um, and we think it's because social media sites are where talent lives. Something we actually found interesting about this last survey was that less employers were planning to use LinkedIn in 2012 than they were in 2011. So um, how are we doing on that poll? Is everybody kind of answered up a little bit? We'll go ahead and close the poll in just a sec. I think we're still getting a few more responses in. So uh, if you wanted to participate, go ahead and do that now. We're going to go ahead and close the poll. It'll take just a couple minutes to calculate everything here for us, and we'll go ahead and share those results with everybody. Um, what does it look like so far? So quite a few people use LinkedIn. Um, people are on Facebook, uh, Twitter. There's a little bit of blog and YouTube going on. It looks like a lot of people are planning to increase their use of a lot of these things in, fa uh, in 2012. And similar to our last study, it looks like LinkedIn actually is decreasing a little bit this year, too. Um, so yeah, it looks like the results are pretty consistent with what we already had here. Uh, it's good to see that everybody's kind of on the same page here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe the reason employers in our study and here on the call today are planning to use LinkedIn less in 2012, um, probably because it's more costly to recruit on LinkedIn than it is on some of the other social networks. And LinkedIn also has a disproportionate amount of senior level white collar users. So they have quite a few more than the other networks, uh, which makes it actually hard to find the entry and the mid-level candidates that you can find on some of those other sites. So as you can see from this chart by Hitwise, 57% of LinkedIn's visits are from users over the age of 45. Um, actually very few visits come from the age group that are 34 and under. Facebook, on the other hand, compares more favorably to the online population, and each group accounts for about 20% of the visit share. That's because Facebook really doesn't know any generational limits. Now, in the 2011 Forrester study, we can see that 96% of adults who use social networking sites are on Facebook. So if you're going to reach somebody via social media, chances are you can find them within Facebook's 800 million members. While LinkedIn has been the social recruitment network of choice thus far, this study makes it clear that it's really not an adequate social recruitment strategy on its own. Only 28% of U.S. adults that use social media are on LinkedIn. Twitter boasts slightly less users with 24% of U.S. social media users. Um, but what you can see here that's really interesting is that not a single age group dips below 95% for Facebook. So this really goes to show 
that Facebook has become the social network of choice for people of all ages. We've also seen that it's fairly even among the sexes. So this is an infographic from Hitwise again that shows that Facebook audience uh, skews a little bit more female than the online population as a whole. So 57% of females are, well basically the Facebook's visit share, 57% females and 47 43% males, sorry about that. Um, so now let's take a look at some of the income levels for Facebook users. So as you can see here, Facebook under indexes and in visit share from the most affluent income group, while LinkedIn has the most visits from those making over $150,000 per year. The majority of Facebook users, which is about 81%, make under $100,000 per year. So again, this really shows that Facebook is probably the better network to recruit entry and mid-level talent. Um, but it does still offer a significant amount of users from the $150,000 a year and up group. So about 6% of the 800 million Facebook users making over $150,000 a year is still 48 million people. And that number compares on LinkedIn as 18 million. So you can see there's a pretty big difference, about three times as many in, um, in that income group. So as you can imagine, Facebook users are also really well educated based on you know, the income data. So let's take a look at the US membership by education here. Um, Facebook estimates that 38% of users input education information on Facebook. Um, nearly 46 million users are showing that they're college graduates, 4% in college, and 3% in high school. Um, so if you're looking for graduates of top universities, Facebook is a great place to find them. So let's take a look at how job seekers are using social media to find work, just so you can kind of compare what they're doing versus um, what, what you're going to be doing. So according to Job Bytes Job Seeker Survey, active job seekers use Facebook more than LinkedIn and Twitter. So for the purpose of this survey, active job seekers meant that the person was both employed or unemployed, um, while proactive job seekers are the passive candidate, basically. So those that are employed but open to new opportunities. Um, stationary employees, on the other hand, were employed and not open to a new job. So as you can see, 81% of active job seekers are on Facebook. Well, only 33% are on LinkedIn and 37% on Twitter. So now we can take a look at how the job seekers are using social media to find their next opportunity. So Job Byte asked, which career supporting slash job hunting activities did you complete with each network in the last 12 months? Job seekers are using Facebook to store professional information, make new professional connections, and get job referrals. And with 84% of job seekers on Facebook, many of them have had success using it to find their most current job. So when asked which of the following online social networks did you use that directly led to finding your current or most recent job, 78% who found their most recent job on social media actually found it on Facebook. Um, so what we've seen, so now that we've discussed how like the job seekers are using social media to find jobs, we can get into how you can use social media to find candidates. So the challenge for you as a recruiter and the reason you can't use Facebook like your LinkedIn profile currently is that Facebook is inherently social. And they're not coming in and showing you how the cataloged work experience, job titles, education, location, all those things um, can be found on Facebook, which would make it a really great recruiting tool because we do know that information is on there. Um, we found that about 47% of people enter professional information, and as I mentioned earlier, 38% enter education information. Um, the good news is that there are some Facebook and third-party tools which can help you reap the benefits of your Facebook recruitment strategy. So on Facebook, you can build business pages, including one with a career focus. Um, this is something that we've done here at Identify to separate out our marketing messages from our employer branding messages so that our 
you know, basically our prospects aren't getting the same message that our job candidates are. So with a separate career page, we've been able to add um, our jobs to our Facebook wall. We've been able to add helpful tips to help people in their job search, um, whether it's with our company or somebody else's. So we've actually gotten quite a few new likes on that career page just because we've been able to mix the content up a little bit and keep it interesting and targeted to our job candidates. Um, you can also add apps and advertising to drive job applications to any of your open positions. Um, and to learn how to use these, we're actually doing a webinar in two weeks called How to Recruit on Facebook, Understanding the Tools. So you can reach out to us for a complimentary Facebook recruitment consultation in the meantime where we can discuss your current recruitment strategy and which, if any, Facebook recruiting solutions would best benefit your organization. So you can just write us a quick note in the chat box and we'll be sure to follow up with you after the webinar. So I'm going to get to the Q&A just a little bit here. Um, so if you have any questions on any of these stats, please feel free to ask away. Um, I'm just going to do a quick run through of identified Facebook recruiting solutions. Um, so here we go. Identified has created Facebook recruiting solutions for the social employer to complement your existing recruiting strategies. Our solutions include a job posting app for your Facebook company or career page, a passive search tool that helps you professionalize personal Facebook connections and search through ex existing networks and Facebook advertising to drive targeted talent to your job postings and build your talent community. Let's take a look first at TalentLink. Um, TalentLink is our Facebook app that allows you to post jobs on your Facebook page. It integrates with your ATS, or you can manage your jobs and candidates straight from the app. All jobs posted are pulled by Indeed, Juju, Simply Hired, and Jubal to increase your views and drive candidates to your Facebook page. Um, we did a recent study, we actually found that Indeed, by pulling um, our clients' jobs, increased job views by about 300%. Uh, we also saw that there was a, about a 30% increase in job views for people that use social sharing features. So um, whether you're using TalentLink or another similar solution, I absolutely recommend um, encouraging your audience to share your jobs across their networks and also encouraging your own internal employees to share jobs as well. It really helps bring up your, your job views and your applications and um, as a result your hires as well. So we do offer a 15-day trial of TalentLink if you don't have a solution currently in place for this so you can see for yourself how easy it is to get started with Facebook recruiting. Um, if you are interested, go ahead and just type a message in the chat box or email sales at identified.com and we'll get you up and running within the week. Um, Pro Search is a passive search tool that allows you to search Facebook profiles with filtering, ranking, and relevance. So this is something that is built in on LinkedIn but hasn't yet been built in on Facebook. So we do actually offer a free version of this tool. The search functionality is not quite as good, but you can get a really good feel for, um, for basically how everything works. Um, and how you can get started with sourcing off of Facebook. Um, the great thing about Facebook users is they have, an, on average, about 130 friends each. So your second degree network is actually about 17,000 people, um, which is really helpful if you're looking to get referral candidates in. You can search through your second degree network and ask your actual first degree connections what they think of that person and how they could be a good fit for your organization. So I absolutely recommend signing up for a free user profile at identified.com. Um, and then if you are interested in learning further, we have this tool called ProSearch, which basically if you're tired of scrolling through hundreds of job applications for each posting, you can source candidates with this tool. Identified's indexed over 50 million Facebook profiles, made them professionally relevant, and given them a score so you can see who the top candidates are. You can search by location, graduation year, company, industry, and much, much more. Um, you can also download resumes, message candidates, and see how you're connected to the candidates through your company's employees. So again, if you're looking for that coveted referral candidate, this is a great tool to help you find them. And if you're interested in a demo, 
go ahead and let us know. Um, and also, like I said, sign up for a free profile at identified.com. Um, it's worth taking a look, just seeing uh, who you know. Um, our third tool is called Job Reach, uh, which is essentially Facebook advertising. Um, advertising is great on Facebook because it really helps you find those hard to fill position, the candidates for your hard to fill positions and helps you build up your talent community. So you can either job, drive job applicants directly to your job posting if you use an app, or you can drive them to your job postings on uh, your ATS or your career website. Um, you can also just drive people to your Facebook page to get more likes. Um, there was a study recently that I think it was the same HitWise study I surveyed or checked out earlier. And they said that one Facebook like leads to an average of 20 pa Facebook page views per year. So you can imagine if you are in like the thousands or the tens of thousands of Facebook fans, um, how many people are actually looking at your page. So um, Facebook advertising is a really great way to help you get more page likes, and Identified can help you do that with job reach. So you can either promote a specific job, like I said, a career event, your Facebook page, your own website, and use a custom message and call to action. And the really great thing about this too is about Facebook ads is that relevant actions from the viewer's friends are automatically shown to build word of mouth awareness. So for example, if you put an ad up on Facebook and a potential candidate's looking at it and perhaps one of their friends has previously liked your page, that potential candidate can see that their friends already like you and it's sort of what's called social proof. So basically when somebody's friends like something, it makes them more likely to remember it and like it as well. So just wanted to thank everybody so much for joining us today. Um, like I said earlier, our next webinar will be on how to recruit on Facebook. We're going to get into a lot deeper depth on some of these tools. Um, so I'll run through Facebook business pages, apps, advertising, search tools, how to use your personal profile to uh, recruit on Facebook. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use them all to recruit top talent. So instead of the traditional death by PowerPoint presentation, we're actually going to do a screen share and walk through each of these steps to setting up a profile for professional use and um, you know what the best practices are to get the most out of all of those tools. Um, like I said earlier too, if you want to get started with social recruiting sooner, um, Facebook recruiting in particular, we do offer Facebook recruiting consultations uh, free of charge. So go ahead and just write us a quick note in the chat box and we will go ahead and give you a call after the webinar. Um, so now it's time for Q&A. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and type them into the Q&A box to your right. And we're going to try and get to as many as we can before you all get too bored. Um, okay. So is there a way for me to make sure specific demographics of people can see my open job positions? Um, the first thing that comes to mind would be Facebook advertising. Um, Facebook has really targeted ads set up so that you can target them to specific age groups, to specific um, genders. Um, you can even target by location. You can target by the person's interests. So this is something you can't do on any other advertising platform um, because people on Facebook say if they're interested in, let's say, travel. So if you're a travel agency, you can target your ads specifically to those people that have a passion for what your company does. Um, can I get a copy of this presentation? Is that usually provided? Yes, uh, I will be sending out a copy of the presentation immediately following the webinar. Um, well, probably not immediately. We have to get everybody's, uh, um, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, it takes a couple of minutes to, to process the webinar recording, so we'll send that out usually by the end of today or early tomorrow. Um, and so you'll get the recording, we'll send you the slide deck, and we'll send you information for the next webinar. So if you wanted to register for that, you would be able to. Um, what are some good strategies I can use to make sure I draw people to my company's career page? So um, actually, we've actually had really good luck building our talent community on our Facebook career page simply by using our job posting app, we found that since the aggregators are picking it up, 
people are searching on Indeed for you know the titles that we're offering, and coming to our Facebook page to apply for them, and they like us in the process. So that's one really easy way. Um, two would be Facebook advertising. So like I said, you can drive people specifically to your page. Um, there are, of course, some really easy and free ways to do this as well. Um, one, put it in your email signature. Um, that way everybody that you email will see that you have a company career page. Um, put it on your business card. Uh, link it to your other social media profiles. So if you're on Google+, LinkedIn, Twitter, include a link back to your Facebook page too. Um, a lot of people will follow you on multiple tools at once. Um, another question, do we provide Talent Link for free? Unfortunately, no, Talent Link is a paid tool. We do offer a free 15-day trial. Um, so it's, it's free for two weeks. And in that two weeks, you could probably get enough applications to last you for a while, so it would essentially be free. Um, but you might find that it's worth paying for after the trial period, so it's up to you. Um, if anybody's interested, go ahead and just write us a quick note. Uh, let's see if there's any more. Interested in the recruiting seminar, where do I sign up? Um, on our website, employers.identified.com slash events. We have all of our upcoming webinars, and we'll be starting to do live events this year as well. So uh, keep an eye out for those. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. I would like to learn how to use these tools. It looks like we've covered most of the questions here. If, uh, if, it, if I find out later that I missed one on accident, I will go ahead and respond to you personally. Um, but it looks like that's about it for now. So thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you on our future webinars. Everybody have a good one.